Hello, I'm Nicole Hergarten, Executive Director of the Collar Institute at London Business School. With me is uh, Sven Leiden, he is the uh, Chief Executive Officer of ADVEC uh, Management AG. Thank you very much Sven for taking part in our program today <laughs> and thank you also for making the time for our short interview. Um, so also we have to say that uh, ADVEC kindly supports our research work with the ADVEC Applied Research Series and we are grateful for the funding as well <laughs> you're providing for this. Most welcome. And so out of the today's discussion, so the key question we wanted to just discuss in this interview is so, so when it comes to fundraising, so is bigger and more established better or are specialists gaining momentum? What do you think? Well, I think it's a difficult question to answer because there, there is a kind of yes and yes. Uh, I think the larger funds are profiting from the fact that they are large. So I think the market is really splitting into, we heard it today on the lecture as well, into asset gatherers, which are the big names, which are brand names, and they will continue to grow and they profit from being big. And at the other side, you will have alpha providers and they tend to be small and specialized. So I think if you look at who can raise the most assets, it's going to be the, either the, the pure alpha specialists who create a lot of value or the big asset gatherers who, who have a big and great brand name. So I think that is the, the bifurcation of the market. I think the problem is if you're in between these two things. I mean, we clearly have positioned ourselves as an alpha generator at ADVEC, and we're also trying to find managers that are alpha generators because obviously that's what we are paid for. So I think that that's the way the market will develop. Mm -hmm. And then is it also about ticket size maybe? So are LPs hunting bigger and bigger tickets? I think you're seeing some investors, we, again today we talk about the, the post of Japan that wants to invest 30 billion into the private equity industry, which is going to be a real challenge. But you see a lot of, of let's say, sovereign funds and so on who, who really need to write these 100, 200 million dollar tickets and they don't want to be a large investor. They maybe want to be 10% of the fund and you make the math, they can in, cannot invest in a fund smaller than 2 billion. And that's why these large funds have been flooded by capital, whereas the smaller funds actually struggle to raise capital because they are small. But we find the smaller ones much more attractive because, of course, because they have little capital but a large amount of opportunities to invest the capital, they will have much better returns than the large one who have now a lot of capital to invest but nothing to invest in. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much uh, for taking the time today and thank you for your very interesting insights as well. Yeah. Thank you very much.